Glad you're with us tonight. An Oklahoma officer hurt in a police chase, and tonight we're learning about the man who led that chase across the metro. It ended in a crash, sending a Calumet police officer to the hospital. Newsdance Deanne Stein has more on what prompted the pursuit. According to Guthrie police, an officer was trying to pull over the suspect, but instead he took off and it took multiple agencies to finally bring him to a stop. We're finally getting a look at the man behind the wheel, Jimmy Don Dunham, who led a multi-agency chase through three counties. Uh, the pursuit lasted for a significant amount of time for speeds that were reaching up to between 100 and 120 miles an hour. Trooper Preston Cox with the Oklahoma Highway Patrol said two OHP units were involved in that pursuit Monday night. It all began when Guthrie police say an officer attempted a traffic stop, but Dunham took off. Three Guthrie police units followed him out of Logan County down I-35 to I-40 into Oklahoma County. As soon as Guthrie dropped back, our unit engaged. But not for long, Dunham entered Canadian County where deputies there took over. The sheriff's office says Dunham rammed into one of the deputies' cars after attempting a tactical maneuver. Another deputy attempted another move, causing the suspect to spin out. Dunham got back onto the highway when the sheriff's office says he hit a Calumet officer who was blocking the suspect's exit sending that officer to the hospital. We know that he was complaining of some head trauma, but they took him to the hospital. Dunham was booked into the Canadian County Jail on complaints of eluding a police officer. Now, I contacted the Calumet Police Department to try to find out the condition of the officer, but haven't heard back. In Oklahoma City, Deanne Stein, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.